Hi, I'm Gina and I'm a family nurse practitioner and today I wanted to take a moment to reflect with you on the passing of Chadwick Boseman and I just wanted to mention that it really is important to keep in mind that colon cancer in somebody uh, younger than the age of 45 is actually really very rare. So um, the good news about colon cancer is that generally many of the risk factors are modifiable, meaning that they're things that we have in our control that we can um, make lifestyle changes to decrease our own personal risk factors. Colon cancer, generally speaking, is a very slow growing cancer which is why screening literally saves lives when it's done in a timely fashion. Screening allows for the opportunity to identify precancerous lesions, which can then be removed before they even become a problem. Proper screening can identify early colon cancers, and when colon cancer is identified, removed, and treated, nine out of 10 patients will still be alive five years later. Risk factors for colon cancer that we cannot change include having a family history of colon cancer, advancing age, having a personal history of inflammatory bowel disease, or having a personal history of precancerous polyps. If you do have any of these risk factors, you may actually have a different screening uh, process than the average person, meaning that you may get screened at an earlier age or more frequently. Generally, screening starts at about age 45. So it's important to have a conversation with your doctor about your own personal unmodifiable risk factors so that you can get a screening plan set in place and start it appropriately. And just because you have genetic predisposition for colon cancer doesn't mean that you can't make lifestyle changes so that you can actually decrease the risk of those genes being expressed. Risk factors that we can change include obesity, smoking, um, living a, a sedentary lifestyle, drinking alcohol in more than recommended. So that means more than two servings of alcohol for a man a day and one serving for women. Eating a diet that is high in meat and low in vegetables, fruits, and fiber. So. We know that from us with a functional medicine perspective, we actually work in a practice where we address the root cause of illness. So much of our time is spent helping people learn how to address their lifestyle in order to prevent disease. And studies confirm that eating a diet that's high in vegetables and fruits and unprocessed grains can literally prevent the formation of colon polyps. So what are warning signs that would indicate that you should visit with a provider regarding GI issues? Those warning signs can be things like a change in stools, a narrowing of stools, a fullness, a sensation of fullness in the rectum, a diarrhea, constipation, abdominal bloating, abdominal cramping, a black, red or tarry stools, or unexplained anemia. So when we talk about screening for colonoscopy or colon cancer, we have the non-invasive cologuard, and then we have a colonoscopy, which is an invasive procedure. The benefits of doing the cologuard are that you can do it at home and um, there's no prep. So the downside of doing Cologuard is that if you do have a positive test, then it means that you need to schedule an appointment to go in and have a colonoscopy and have those polyps removed, and that will then be considered a procedure because you've already been screened and been found positive to have colon polyps. The benefits of doing a colonoscopy are that it's both, both the treatment, the screening and the treatment at the same time. Some people are concerned about doing the prep. 
The prep involves eating a limited diet the day before and drinking a solution in order to help clean your bowels. Remember that colon cancer is 90% treatable when caught early. Despite this, it remains the third leading cancer-related death in both men and women in the United States. This can be directly correlated back to lack of early screening. If there are barriers to early screening, such as you are afraid of the prep for a colonoscopy, or you are afraid of the procedure of what actually a colonoscopy is, or if you don't have health insurance, it's really important to talk with your provider if you have questions about the procedure, or get help if you don't have health insurance. So there is the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, which has a website which can help navigate um, funding issues for colon cancer screening. Their website is ccalliance.org, or you can call them at 877-422-2030. If you need support learning how to modify your own personal risk factors, or if you have any other questions regarding GI issues or complaints, please give us a call. We would love to help you. Our number is 470-266 one three eight zero. Again, my name is Gina. Take care.